ladies and gentlemen, we will win this debate, even if we have to make it look like they won the debate. Because, you know, that's what we do. Alright, so before we be forward our case, we want to, I want to actually rebut what Mark has said. Number one, we say that actually these standards are correct, especially the second standard. But the question that who needs this win more, ladies and gentlemen, is it we, the ANC team, or is it they, them, the conveners, the chief adjudicator, who actually need a credibility, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot lose this debate, alright? So they really, really need this win. On the question, on the issue of necessity, that's already won by us, yet again, by making them win. So, am I confusing you? No? Okay. I'm sure naman you won't lose me. Alright, now more on the question of who needs to win this debate more. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explore the aftermath of if the ANC team will actually, you know, uh, debate in a serious round, ladies and gentlemen, and actually lose. Actually, we're being very sneaky. Because we're all very tired, we're all sick, we just came from Manila and stuff like that. We can't actually afford to lose against them in a real debate. Okay? So actually, in this particular debate, regardless if we win or their win, you know, the aftermath is very safe. As opposed to actually going to a real debate with them, because we know it's never to undermine them. We are the ANC team, but we are MIDV as well. We are all good, or, you know, as equally good, ladies and gentlemen. So we can't actually afford to not have the opposition win. Going back on the individual characteristics of our opposition team, I mean, come on, look at them. Come on. I mean, look at me. Okay. I'm sure some of you confused me for the technical, I know. Not that they don't look well, but they're not supposed to be in corporate attire tonight. Okay. And so let's look at the individual, uh, the individual members of the team and the team as a whole. We think, the government thinks that the opposition should win because they are more diverse, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, in terms of diversity, we're all the girls, look at us, we're Actually, after ANC, parang nagbailo na with Naong, okay? People are confused, it's a si Mara, it's a si Ara, it's a si Ray. Pero tanawa sila, look at them, come on. Mark pa lang, number one, represents the third sex, di ba? That's not a very important representation, ladies and gentlemen. Justin represents... Wait lang, ha? Wait, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, let's just say good looking people for the sake of argumentation. Okay. Justin represents good looking people. Regine represents. I know. Um, innocence. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and we do need people like that. So all in all, look at them, they're a very diverse, very beautiful group. And you know, next to them we're like Patapon, pero tonight lang naman. Okay? Alright, so I think that concludes sa akin pa lang, the opposition should definitely win this debate. And with that we continue to propose. Alright, thank you for that, GBM. Under time three minutes by the way. <laughs> now thank uh,